Yeah, the water bubbling, that means some kind of gas coming out of it as well. But once in a while, it makes a very big burp. Once you start flushing the toilet, the big burps of gas coming up at a time, big bubbles of gas. And that, of course, could be a problem. You gotta remember, these toilets haven't been in use for a whole year. And you could see the activity going on there still. So, obviously, something wrong. Now, as you pan around, you could see certain depressions in the yard. One right here on the edge of the basketball court and over there by the office, which is the back of the administrative office for the high school. You could see the, the, the unevenness of the ground. And this is because as it gets waterlogged, the soaker where that is under there cave in in several places. And I guess that is why the water is not soaking away. The buildings were augmented for Carifesta. And since that, the water behind here has nowhere to go. The water of the court, the water of the roof, and the water um, that falls on the grass here has to soak down right here where you have two soakaways and a public two septic tanks supporting the two set of toilets and the office which also has a toilet in there of its own. I want us to go over by the office itself and look at another vent from the office toilet and this vent supposed to be, as again, again I said, to the roof but you could see it is cut short right at the base here. If you look in the, in the ditch you could see the collection of water that I'm talking about. Again, where is this water coming from? This probably is runoff water from rain. But again, it has nowhere to go. And this is right next to the, to the, to the vent. That's probably compromised right under there. And the reason why it sink down is because there's some kind of problem down there. And that, that vent shouldn't be there. That, when those fumes come out, they could go right into that office window right there. And whoever in there could inhale those fumes. But that, that vent leads directly to the septic. It's a breather for the septic. So it shouldn't really be there, it should be higher up. A convention, everybody in the house, they have this vent that comes from the toilet, it goes all the way up to the roof. And that, that is one of them. So that needs to be looked at as well. Okay, from the office, we move to the right, where you have the auditorium, the back of the auditorium. You could see the new toilets that were put in, about eight of them. Um, but, and the windows, by the windows, the little small windows, those are toilet windows to serve the auditorium at the Bastia High School. But as you look down on the ground, outside those bathrooms, you could see that a soak away and septic system was put in place right here outside that door. But it's evident that some caving in has taken place because you could see the depressions both near and right outside the door. There are two sinkholes which were caused by, you know, when the system compromised, those sinkholes appear and nothing really done to fix them. You could see a hole in the cover for the septic tank right here. And if you look down, you could see that it's filled with water and the water is just not going anywhere. All right, something like that needs to be looked at. You can't really see the water because it's down there. But I mean, look at it, that's a sewage. That's sewage with a hole in the cover. I don't know if this septic was refurbished to match the hall or if it was an old septic, I mean a new septic which was put in. But here on the right, you could see a sinkhole which came about as a result of water logging on animals like dogs digging under there. I don't know why, but you used to have dogs living in the hole under there. So the hole just started to get filled with garbage. It was a lot deeper, but you know, as nobody studied it, you know, you can neglect it. You just stay here and fill up with garbage, but that's a dangerous hole. If somebody run around here and drop in that, they'll probably break their foot or sprain their ankle or something like that. As you look around, however, you could see the, the amount of grass and debris which were removed by the prisoners or cut by the prisoners. This would need many um, containers to take it away to the landfill. I don't know, but this is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And you got to remember, um, the school don't have adequate lawn supplies, so whenever the, the little rain fall, the grass and the bush just, just run away. As you could see, all the furniture, the, those furniture were totally covered by grass. People trying to get over to the nightclub, which is beyond that wall. They would just take the furniture, put them in the grass and step on them to get over the wall. Even though the wall had grass bottle on top. If you can see the top of the wall, the, 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 so much people jumping over the wall that they put glass, pieces of glass at the top of the wall to deter people from jumping over. That's the 17 degrees nightclub over there.
Yeah. All right, so as we come around from the back of the hall, we know in front, we are assemblies kept in front, the office and the auditorium. And as you look up at the eaves of the building and the blue paint, you could see some black spots. All right, and those black are moss and mold and mildew which accumulate on top of the concrete roof from settled water. And as it rolls over the edge, it creates this blackness. When this stuff dry, it just blow all over the place. But this is this stuff, some people, you know, maybe say dangerous, it's mold or bacteria or algae. All right, it's growing stuff. When it's wet, it, just, it gets very mossy. And then when it's dry, it just come like powder and blows around the place. So you can see it all along the top of the fifth farm block. That's what we're looking at right now. And below, some food farm classes. So the water would fall from up there all the way down, carrying the mass with it. And it's all along the length of the building, as you could see. If you turn around, you will see the biology lab number 13 and one of the classrooms. But right, what's interesting is that right outside the lab, there's one of the same trough systems that used to control a water pipe. But this area had problems with drainage. So the pipe has long been abandoned. There are more than three or four soakaways built in the grass right in front here. But they couldn't handle the flow of water. So these were just abandoned and the pipe was moved. When this pipe was moved, the problem down at the other western end, southern end of the school, started to manifest because instead of you having the water soaking up here, you now have the water soaking down in the first region where we started. And this might be one of the reasons why the problem began. When he moved the water pipe, he had a water pipe and a sink for the students to drink water during break time. But when this was moved about five years ago, six years ago, then I guess they moved the problem from one spot and put it another spot. But right where we're walking right now on the ground, used to have the soakaways that dealt with the water for the, from the pipe we just spoke about. But they've now been moved to that area where we spoke about earlier. We now have the septic problem. The first area where we looked at, where we looked at the pipes and the, the vents and the junction boxes. So down there, that area become compromised by the water pipe where the students use water and it just keeps flowing and overwhelming the septic tank where you see those poles standing there. That's where the septic tank is. This is where the water pipe has been relocated to right outside the art room and the sports room next to the girls' bathroom. This is where we started. And um, as you could see, there's no real drain pipe for the water. So it's right in the vicinity of the sewage and the septic tank and the soakaway. But um, this area um, is not really suited for the water pipe because the water pipe has nowhere for the water to go. So if we turn on the pipe, we could see that the water it just gathers in this piece of concrete and it just goes into the ground right there. After days of use, we have to use this for five days by the students. This is where the students drink water and this water accumulates here and makes a swamp. And this swamp compromises the soakaway system because the soakaways are right in this vicinity. Eventually the teachers with high heels will be unable to walk in this area because it would get so wet and swampy. Right now we are looking at the area just south of the water pipe and once the water gets flowing and students start using the pipe, the water comes down and floods this whole area. Those two pieces of board in front of you, those are what we use to step over the water when it gets too bad and too muddy. But right under here are the soakaways, so there's no way once the pipe is used that the soakaways are effective, that the, the, the water from the pipe. And if you could look to the right, you would see some of the same junction boxes where the water has, the sewage has to go. And so you find the sewage and the water mix and compromise the system. So from what we have seen and what we have looked at here at the Bastia High School, we could realize that there's clear evidence that probably there's no gas in the, in the, in the chemistry lab, no chemical poisoning, but most likely Fumes from the sewage, as we have seen, which has been compromised, easily can enter the building. We could see the places where the fumes could escape from. We see the vents, we see the junction boxes, we see the soakaway, we see the septic system. And in my opinion, this is what's causing the problem at Bastia High. The sewage is totally compromised, needs to be fixed. 
um, need to be replaced, not fixed, because the system is archaic, the school is over 50 years old, so it has to be that those cast iron pipes causing a lot of problems with the drainage and the soaking and so forth. So, there you have evidence. I don't see evidence otherwise, but I have evidence here to show that the water is not draining properly, the soak away not functioning, the septic system being compromised.